Marcus, congratulations. Your two goals have just helped England into the knockout stages of the World Cup. How good does that feel? Yeah, it's obviously a, a great feeling. Um, you know, to be honest, we was, a, we was a little bit disappointed as a, as a team after the, the last game against USA. Um, you know, I thought we could have played a, a lot better. And the only way to, to you know, bounce back from that is to, to have a good performance in your next game. And I, I thought we'd done that. First half, we defended brilliantly. We didn't give them really any opportunities. I think they had, the, they had one shot. Um, and it was just about us just killing the game off early and, and taking the chances when they came. When that free kick was awarded, was there ever any doubt you were going to take it? And did you know it was in straight away? Do you know what? I, f I fancied one in the in the first half, um, but to be fair, the, the one in the second half was in a was in a better position. Um, and you know, from there, it's just about being calm and just trying to execute what you what you practice in training. Um, they don't go in often, but I'm pleased that I went in today. I was going to say, was the key being patient tonight because you had so much of the ball, but not too many clear cut chances? Yeah, 100. percent um, You know, at half time, the manager said we've we played really well, but the the one thing that we can work better on is shots on that goal. I think we only had two or three in the first half, so you know we wanted to work the keeper more. We wanted to get keep getting in dangerous positions, which I thought we was doing in the first half, but the second half we made them count. For you personally, three goals already in this tournament. Your joint top scorer. You've spoken of the difficult couple of years you've had. Is that smile coming back on your face now? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, moments like this. This is what this is what I play football for. You know the. The biggest moments, the best moments, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really happy today. I'm happy that we're going through to the to the next round um, of the tournament, and hopefully we can build on this performance because, you know, I still I have massive ambition for this team, and I think we can play even better than what we showed today. Well played tonight, Marcus. Thank you. Um, and we'll take on Senegal at 7 p.m. on Sunday. That's live on. Well, ITV. Um, oh well. Uh, USA looks set to join them uh, in the last 16. Um, the game's not quite finished yet. Uh, they would face the Netherlands on Saturday if they hold on to beat Iran. Uh, sadly, Wales go out. Well, that was a pretty impressive performance for yeah, England, Alan. Very good second half. Um, switched Phil Forden and Marcus Rash yeah. Rashford either side. And deserves credit for that because, yeah. you know, some people are saying sometimes that, you know, the substitutions, the changes he makes tactically, he did want, I mean, obviously the first one's a free kick, yeah. so it didn't make any difference in that sense, but it made a difference. No, but the, the, way, they, the way they pressed, the way they passed the ball, uh, certainly a lot quicker, and of course it helps when you get that first goal because yeah. everything changes. Yeah. Yeah. But it was it was a really impressive second half performance yeah. and thoroughly deserving Marcus Rashford. Um, what, what a game he yeah. What a second half. I know. Really. He's playing himself in the team, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just goes to show, doesn't it? Yeah. He wasn't in the team at the start of the tournament. He yeah. brings him on, he scores. Now look at him. He's joint yeah. top scorer of yeah. the World Cup. He's in with a yeah. great shout of the Golden Boot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's World Cups for you. Anything can happen, you never know. Um, a word on Wales. Um, it wasn't to be. Um, if you look at it, in really, I mean, you compare the players from one side and the other, there was England way superior. Yeah, there was a big gulf in uh, yeah. quality tonight, I think. But they battled away. No, I think tonight was was better in terms of performance. Yeah. I know we I know yeah. we lost the game, um, but where we went wrong was in the, in the first two games. I think we came into the World Cup a little bit hesitant, waiting to see what happens instead of being on the front foot and taking it, yeah. you know, straight to to USA in that first half of that first game and then and then we was always on the back foot you know tonight was what it was we didn't have really enough quality I don't think within that within the 90 yeah. minutes yeah. but it was before that you know for, and the wider picture for Wales is is trying to, to uh, qualify for consecutive tournaments over and over and building on you know the lessons that need to be learned from yeah. from this World yeah. Cup and rebuilding the team because mm -hmm. I'm guessing some 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 guys might yeah. finish now. Yeah. Tough watch for you, Ian, in the second half. Yeah, very tough, I think. Uh, but when you look at it, you know, to qualify for the World Cup yeah. is a major achievement. But they've set themselves standards now. Yeah. And we've got to maintain them standards now. We've qualified since 2016. We've qualified for two, Euro, two mm. Euros. Yeah. Now the World Cup. And the next stage now is to qualify for the next World Cup. Yeah. Got some young players coming through as well. Yeah, we've got, I think yeah. the most important thing is like the, the grassroots. Though yeah. Financially, um, they get some money things, and we need to invest that into the grassroots and Wales. Yeah. Rio, overall, uh, it was a good, solid performance in the first half, which was the platform for, for some great football in the second. Yeah, it was, and I think the second half, half really um, gave you a, a taste of what we feel England should play like. I think we asked before the game, high press, yeah. energy, aggressive, aggressive without the ball. Um, 
And yeah. I think you look at that, the team, and you, when you feed off of those little elements there, yeah. then you get the quality yeah. and the flamboyance that we can have in this team. Yeah. But you have to have that first bit. Yeah. And I think we've got the profile of players to really execute yeah. that game plan. We, we talked, didn't we, before the game about, you know, you've got to keep things in balance. Don't get too carried away when they're going well, like we, we probably will now, obviously, with, for England <laughs> anyway. Bananas, it? And, uh, but <laughs> likewise, you said before the game against USA, you know, that it's, it wasn't a... You know, it's perspective, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and you, you can't get too carried away. Yeah. And again, no disrespect to this Wild Wales team. We're going to have tougher opposition coming up in this competition, yeah. no doubt. Well, yeah. um, and you've got to make, make, but you've got to beat what's in front of you. Yeah. And today, I thought we executed the game plan perfectly well. First mm. half, we're sitting there saying we can do more, could be more creative. <coughs> yeah. The second half came out and yeah. absolutely blew Wales away. Yeah. It, it, it's always that first goal, isn't it, that you need? It makes such a big difference. We've seen so many games in this World Cup. We said it at half time. So many games that, you know dominant in the first half and then then some you get a bit more space a little yeah. bit more tired the game gets stretched a little bit I mean although England it was just after half time and suddenly was, there were two goals in a couple of minutes it was a it was a wonderful strike and I was actually sat in here saying go on yeah. hit it the yeah. goalkeeper's side I mean was it a foul though oh he did not oh yeah I yeah. think it was <laughs> Oh, did he buy it? I don't see no foul there. Yeah, well, he's probably flicked his leg at him, but, but a bit clever. But, I mean, the, the, but what a the, free the, kick. the keeper yeah. is at fault here. I mean, it's a wonderful strike, yeah. but yeah. The, it's the keeper's side. There's no point in having a wall if you're not going to trust it. Yeah. He's bouncing, he's jumping, he's going over the wall. Um, that's also, they've probably worked on that, um, England, because they've got like three players that are, that are making it difficult for, for the goalkeeper to see. Clever tactically. No, it's good. It's very good from, from Marcus, there's no doubt about that. But the keeper the keeper should do better. So. Uh, this is the um, celebrations in London. Go on, go on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, uh, we've got a water flying and, around. And, and, and this is the reaction in Cardiff. Just there's a try and spot the England fan if you can. There's there. <laughs> I mean she's very brave, really, <laughs> to do that there. It's a bit cruel showing that, I think. <laughs> but um, yeah, Marcus Rashford. Wow. Um, I mean, what a turnaround! Mm. Um, himself saying he's not he's not performed best. He was probably getting distracted off the field. He's mm. come back this season. He's gradually got his way back into the Manchester United team. Real. Mm. This is this is the Rashford that is a threat. He's dangerous mm. in many ways. When he plays like this, yes, sometimes it might be on goal. A little bit similar to Vinicius Junior, where. <coughs> They recognise that, that sometimes they might not give the ball away, mm. but they recognise the talent and encourage him. I, I think all of this stems from what, what one element, working hard and yeah. getting back to basics. Yeah. Um, off the ball, pressing. Um, he didn't look happy for a while, didn't have a smile on his face. Yeah. When you've got a smiling, confident, hard-working Marcus Rashford, he's a devastating player yeah. and a game-changer. And every time he faced up the fullback today, yeah. I heard Ash saying here, today, he looks... He looks Scary yeah. as a defender, you get you one v one. He's got the pace to go past you. He's got imagination, and he can finish. Mm. And but I think it all stemmed from the basics, fundamentals of football, which is graft and hard work, yeah. which he kind of went away from. I think last season yeah. he's back to it. And him, when you uh, look at him now, I, I look at him and think the big players around yeah. the world in this tournament, they'll be looking and going, "Wow, wow. Marcus Rashford." Yeah, and he's played himself what into the team. What do, you, what do you think of him, man? I think he's excellent. You know, where I think he's full of confidence now. And uh, you're going to need him if you know, you're going to go all the way. You need to be him to yeah. be um, to like he was today because he was fantastic today. I think it's fantastic for the England yeah. manager yeah. that he's got, you've he's got, got so many options. I mean, there's, options. There's, a, there's an argument to, to mm. yeah. when you Saka and Sterling yeah. and, and Grealish and yeah. so many options yeah. the manager. So when you get your opportunity, like we were, like we were all saying, Ford should, have, Ford should have been playing. Yeah. He put him in tonight, so he had to go out and he had to perform. It's simple, and he did yeah. that. So then the manager said, well, OK, yeah. I have to be in for the next game. Yeah. Great to have as the yeah. manager and for us as fans. I bet he's chuffed. Let's see if he is. Here he is with Kelly Summers. Zimmerman. Indications are we're going to be all Our ability to get it done. Proud. I think that, you know, the first half we showed what we can do soccer-wise. Um, had, had a really good first half. Second half we showed what we can do determination-wise. The guys grinded. They gave every single ounce of energy. And we're undefeated going into the next round. Christian Pulisic has been waiting for his World Cup moment. Yeah. Literally put his body on the line for that goal. Any update on his status and just what he means to this team? No update uh, on his status, but you know I've been saying all along, it, it's a wonderful thing when you're one of your best players is also one of the hardest working, and he's certainly that. Um, 
you know, I can't say enough positive things about Christian. How would you describe the final minutes of play? It felt like there was a lot of extra time there. Yeah, I mean, with this new injury time, counting every second, it's, it's stressful. I think I have less hair on my head now. But um, we'll, we'll take it and we'll move on and, and go battle hard. Enjoy it. Thanks, Greg. Thank you. We're going to have to set a team with a game plan that says this team will have more of the football than we have because they've got better players and are more experienced than us. So he can do that. He can set out a game plan where these players will be happy to go in against the Dutch and, 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 and play it and use it. And I think that, that might help them because they know they don't have to chase that game. It's a knockout competition. It's a one-off. You know, and and the Dutch will know that one mistake they could be have, gone. Have we seen enough from from the Dutch to to make this result a foregone conclusion? Are, are we have have we been that impressed by Holland to say they will beat America no, categorically? No, no, I haven't. I think he's no. compromised I a haven't. lot of, of of I mean, I've, Holland is. is <clears throat> it's one of the World Cup teams that I, well, the first time I ever saw a World Cup was 1974, mm -hmm. uh, and they played this, they, they, they call it total football, mm -hmm. very much what everyone's doing today. They played it back then, and it was interesting to watch. And As a yeah. country in soccer, in now hosting uh, the next World Cup, I think it's good if we stay in the tournament, we can show we have a young group, and um, yeah, now the next game against Holland, I think people will be excited for that one. And, we're just learning. We're taking step by step, and um, we're excited for the, the World Cup at home. Yeah, I, I, would, would Holland, would the Dutch and the Netherlands hold? Should the, the US have any fears about that? <laughs> They're much more experienced. They've, uh, I think they've got Holland's got better players in the sense that they are players who can make a difference in the game if it's. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed with the second half today. They, I don't know if they were pushed back or they deliberately went back to protect 1-0, but I thought they were cutting it very, very fine. Um, and you, I'm not sure you can do that against Thailand. It's game on again. Depression after a 0-0 in the last game. 3-0 tonight and it's winnable. This is what uh, John Terry has been telling our Arabic colleagues tonight. Yeah, it was much better the second half, wasn't it? A bit more free-flowing from us, which is what, which is what, how, how and what I want to see this team. We have so much quality, like I said uh, before the game and at half-time. It was important that we got fresh players on the pitch. I thought it was better that we made three substitutions at once. Walker, who needed the minutes to play. Uh, Kane comes off and other players go on and Rashford scores two goals. Foden comes on. Uh, Foden starts the game tonight, which was a real positive. And uh, I said before the tournament, I think Phil could be uh, a big, big player for, for us in this, in this World Cup. And it causes now the manager problems. It'll be interesting to see his next team, uh, the lineup when we play Senegal, um, because the players have given the manager a problem. When you've got such a good group of players, it's important to know that Harry Kane, if you're not playing well, there's other players that will come in. Rashford can come and replace you. If Phil Foden, you're not playing well, you will be replaced. If Mason Mount doesn't play well, you will be replaced. And I think when you have that competitiveness within the group, it's also great as well because these players now feel part of it.